What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melissa and we have the 22nd episode of What to Wear Wednesday. Welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa. Very nice to meet ya. If you're new to this segment, this is a segment called What to Wear Wednesday where I post every single Wednesday answering your fashion dilemmas. So go ahead right now, pause the video, and comment down below a question that you would like to be answered in next week's video and you could also be featured. Also follow me on my Instagram. It is at Threads Obsessed. Add me on my Snapchat. It is Melissa Taddy. And also follow me on my Depop because I style a bunch of items that will be listed up on my Depop. So yeah, definitely follow Follow me on there. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave and click the little red bell or the little bell, I guess, beside the subscription button. That way you can be notified for when I post a video. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Okay, don't mind if I'm like staring over there. I'm just reading the questions off of my computer. Mackenzie Lewis asked, I go to fashion school and I'm expected to look pretty put together. Some mornings I'm exhausted from work and just don't have the energy to put together an elaborate outfit. What are some ways I can dress up casual pieces and not look like I didn't put any effort. Okay, I feel like this is a lot of people's issues when going to school or just go, going to work in general. You're tired in the morning and you don't really want to put a lot of effort into your outfit. So this situation is definitely the time that you want to pull out your basic pieces. So a basic pair of jeans and a plain white shirt. These two pieces are just absolute staples in any wardrobe and you can dress them up, dress them down, wear them casual, make them more elaborate. So the way I started this outfit off was with a pair of denim jeans and these aren't just like normal or regular pair of jeans they're kind of a little bit cropped a little bit wider leg they have a cute little um ombre pattern going on or opposite ombre pattern going on so definitely a little bit extra of a pair of jeans and as for the white top also it has a cute little ruffle detail a little bit of an extra white top so as you mentioned you are in fashion school and you want to look a little bit more elaborate just have that little bit of extraness to each of your basic pieces. So I kind of had a blue palette going on with this look and I decided to pair a blazer with this outfit to really bump up this outfit and it looks a lot more professional. It looks a lot more elaborate and if you're in college or university this is definitely something that you want to own. A blazer but not just any blazer. I'm not really into those short very form-fitted blazers. I feel like this one is a little bit oversized. Can look more, It looks more like a jacket than a blazer but it's still a blazer so you definitely look very put together. They're super easy to find in a thrift store. I really love the outfit and the pattern on it And I feel like just pairing a blazer with it definitely makes you look a little bit more professional and Elaborate and it's very simple. You can add any jacket over top But I feel like a blazer is a little bit better than just a typical leather jacket or jean jacket I feel like it just gives a little bit extra of a professional edge to the outfit Which is something that you will want to look like when you're going to college or university or even to your workplace And then I paired it with a pair of sneakers. Sneakers may not be uh, allowed. I'm not sure what your dress code is but nowadays sneakers are just so in style and especially a nice clean pair of white sneakers. I personally paired these red and blue and white Cortez shoes which again has the blue pulled the blue from the blazer. Also it's early in the morning and you just don't want to do anything with your hair. Throw a cap on and you're good to go. Okay moving on to the second question. Kate BB asked, how to style silky satin pieces for school for a more casual look? I'm not going to say this is necessarily casual, but it is. I mean, it's it's casual. It's not ex it's not exactly fancy, but it's very extra looking, very 2000s vibes going on. I saw a lot of the comments be referred to a silk blouse, and I was thinking, why does it have to be a shirt? Why can't it be a pair of silk pants? I feel like silk pants is a little less fancy too. When you see somebody with a silk blouse, it is always a little bit more more fancy smancy. So I feel like if you have a pair of silk pants, which I personally do, if you look in the intimate section in your local thrift store, I'm sure you will come across a ton of them. So I have these gorgeous cherry silk pants and again the cheesy cherry pattern on it kind of makes it look a little bit less fancy and a little bit more casual. So I started off with just these pants and they are definitely the statement of the show but I kind of played on the theme a little bit with these pants and I paired my fake Gucci shirt which just says Gucci on it. Red, pulling the red from the cherries and then also with the red hat. I kept it simple with the shoes. The sneakers are just a basic pair of white Adidas. I feel like the pants were a statement of enough so I just kind of wanted to 
to tone it down with the shoes and then my totally 2000s inspired sunnies definitely went with this look and completed this look and my satchel bag which I'm totally into and it may be up on my depop I'm not sure if I'm really wanting to sell it yet but that is definitely how I styled a pair of silk pants definitely look for something that has like a cheesy pattern on it even if it is a silk blouse like my cherry silk blouse looks a lot less fancier because it has like a cheesy pattern or any sort of a pattern on it okay moving on to question number three Apoa X asks how to style a checkerboard shirt very straight to the point so I actually thrifted this checkerboard print shirt yesterday and it's more so of a sweater and at first I wanted to pair it with a bunch of red but I paired a ton of red in the last outfit so I was like you know what let's just change it up again go back to my roots and pull a couple yellow pieces so I did this monochromatic ish yellow look with the yellow oversized jean jacket and a yellow skirt no I'm totally living for this outfit I think it's so cute and very sexy yet chic and very classy all at once it is a mini skirt but you're so covered on top that it's very classy you could also pair this with a pair of uh, yellow denim jeans or shorts or anything that floats your boat you don't necessarily have to copy these exact outfits when I'm showing you guys I mainly just do this for inspiration for you guys because I know a lot of these outfits are ne not necessarily wearable for everyone but definitely take inspiration from what I am showing you guys I wore my black platform booties which I just felt like this look needed a pair of high heels or booties or something just to complete the look and then also my Kurt Cobain sunnies just to absolutely pull the whole look together. Okay moving on to question number four. Monica J and J asked how to style boots with snake print. If you guys saw my last thrift haul you guys would have seen that I picked up the baddest snake print boots ever. I absolutely love them. Oh my gosh snake print is going to be such a trend coming into the fall time. I know it. It's also kind of already in on trend. They also have a pair of snake print boots on I think Public Desire or Ego Official that are a little bit more toned down, shorter, smaller boots. So if you're not totally into like super long or tall boots, definitely go check out one of those websites for a snake print boot that's a little bit less out there. But the way that I styled it is I kind of mixed Kylie Jenner with Kendall Jenner for this fit where I had Kendall Jenner's streetwear and Kylie Jenner's snake boots because I know that she had a pair of snake print boots also. The other ones from Public Desire would definitely look really cute with a similar fit. I'm really into playing with different trends right now like mixing an athleisure trend with something a little bit more fancier or like casual with fancy. So I had my Harley Davidson t-shirt to begin with which I'm in love with like every Harley Davidson piece right now. I don't know what it is. Just so into like flames and the biker chick theme that's going on. Also paired my absolute favorite shorts that I've ever thrifted hands down. My star printed shorts look like something that was bought from Nasty Gal but I got them for five bucks and then also my snake print boots as I mentioned and then I threw on a newsboy cap with some sunnies and just like a basic black bag with a nice chain to really pull in that street style look you always see Kendall Jenner with a pair of shades a Harley oversized t-shirt and some denim and even like a bag like that's just it's basically just a model off duty very esque look all right guys that sums up episode number 22 of what to wear Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!